Okay, I just realized I'm gonna need a whole new intro for these videos, for this channel. I think I didn't think this through, but now that I've started it, I feel like I just have to do it. This is not even half of it. Let's get this started. All right, y'all. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Out of the Box Thrift on YouTube. Okay, let me just adjust this here now. Yeah. Hi, everybody. My name is Ren. I'm a part time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Depop, and Instagram. And I'll link in the description all the places that you can find me. I just wanted to start this channel. I wanted to just do it. I have another YouTube channel. It's also linked below somewhere, somehow. They're all connected. But I watch so much reseller and thrifting content that I thought, why not start making that sort of content for others? The other channel that I have is an adventure vlog, so this stuff doesn't exactly fit in with that niche. Not that I believe in niches really at all because that's exactly where out of the box thrift comes from. It's the idea that you should not be confined to a box that society places you in. We really like to think that humans are very like, ABC black and white, but we are so much more than that So like why try and stay confined into this box that someone else put around you? You know what I mean? So anyway here this channel. I am just going to be sharing My reselling journey. I started January of 2020 and then things got crazy as everybody knows the pandemic We're sick and tired of hearing about it but this year in 2021 I started taking it a lot more seriously with more strict goals um, more organization more sourcing, more learning, more knowledge that I'm taking in. And so here I am now trying to add value to a community that I treasure so much. <sighs> After that long-winded intro, today's video is pretty much a haul. I am unboxing a bunch of stuff that a dear friend of mine gifted to me essentially that I will be trying to resell. She will get profit for anything that I sell, but she is moving out of the state with not a lot of ability to bring a lot of things. So she thought, what the hey, let's just declutter. Let's get rid of some stuff. So I'm about to open a little bit of the stuffed car full that I have from her. And I have no idea what to expect. Um, I believe the only things I'm about to be looking at are clothes. And clothes, she, apparel, you know. Um, and so I guess let's just jump right in and get started. If you're watching this, Annie, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing where this brings us and what we can make off the stuff. This is going to be the first time that I am seeing any of this right here with you. So let's get started. All right. Right off the top, we have this soft, soft joy top. It's a nice basic. I feel like I need to zoom out for this. Um, it's like a cream color from the brand Soft. I don't really know what that will resell for, but I do love having basics in my inventory because it's a nice thing to bundle. Um, next we have this Arkansas. Ooh, Arkansas. What are those called? Those mascots. What are, what are those things called? Um, for some reason and something that I was very surprised about was college tees selling well for me. Um, I've sold one from my own university and one from my sister's university that we just had laying around that I was just trying to declutter, you know, and I was really surprised that they sold pretty much immediately after being listed. It was a basic tea, basic tank, and I'm surprised about that, but it worked. We have this super warm and cozy scarf. I'm like literally sweating in this room, so like I don't want to put it on, but um, from... From the uh, Route 21, so that's not a great resale value, but um, we also are having a garage sale this weekend, so all of these items I'll be putting in the garage sale as well. Ooh, I might be trying these on and keeping them myself. These Gloria Vander Vanderbilt shorts. They're like mom type shorts. They're like, um, they seem like they might be like high waisted. They're a nice light wash with the nice pocket detailing here. 
Um, I might try these on and keep them for myself, but I'll also list them because as Nicole State once said, you gotta look at everything as profit. Some of these are really particular um, that I might just end up, you know, donating like Winter Jam 2016. Oh, you know what? This was like a Jesus conference thing we went to. I think I was there with her. I mean, it might be worth something. I'd probably just toss it in the garage sale and if anything, donate it. If you guys see anything you like in this that you want me to save for you, I can do that. Just drop a comment. We have another nice basic here, a black tee. These are so fun. We have these bright pink shorts. I really am digging these too. These are from the brand Arizona Jean Co. So the resale value isn't great with that, but it's also like just something that'll that'll flip quick and you could list it for cheap and just make an easy sale out of that. Um, yeah, some of these are like specific college tees. This one's for IWU, so Indiana Wesleyan University. Um, I'm guessing this is like some sort of event. But sometimes people look for those things. Um, they want to rework them. I think this is another IWU tank. I'm just going to guess. It's an it's on tank. It's a T. Just something. Some of the logo there. Some of these I might not even try to sell, but... New Year's cheerleading invitational. Some of these are just gonna be so, are gonna be donated, which is totally fine with me. Um, I don't love just bulk donating things because the odds of them ending up in the landfill or nobody wanting them, though, et cetera, et cetera, is high, higher than it would be if I tried to resell them. But a lot of these things, like they're so particular, I they're just it it would be a, a literal waste of my time. Unfortunately, this one too. Um, See this guy on the other hand, this is from City Streets. It's a nice pink top. It almost feels like an athletic, I don't know anything about the brand, but it looks feels like an athletic type material. Some nice slippers. I should be separating these into like donate, keep, whatever pile right now. This is brand new with the tag on it. It just obviously, it was a clearance item that was never worn. I could probably get this for like a dollar at the garage sale. Honestly, like this is cute for the summer. Like it's a nice basic. I might keep this. She. Okay, we'll, we'll start. So this is donation. This will be keep. Keeping, keeping, keeping. Okay. What else is in here? Rockin' Republic, so that's a pretty good brand. Um, resale value isn't amazing with um, without being new with tags, but this is like a cute basic again. And if anything, I could sell it for like a couple bucks at the garage sale. I'll keep that, or maybe I'll keep it for myself. This I really love. I'm a huge flannel gal. Um, it's Cooper Jones Supply brand, so I'm not super familiar with that. But it's a really, I love the colors in this flannel. And I'm a sucker for a good flannel because it's supernatural mostly. But we'll probably keep that. Um, and then this is also brand new with tags, like pencil skirt. It was only originally $10. But I mean, someone might buy it like at the garage sale, brand new with tags. Yeah, and then she said I could keep this container thing. Zips up, it hangs up. Probably a nice like dorm hack. <laughs> So we're doing good so far. There's some good, there's a few good items that I can really probably profit something on. Um, I'll probably toss everything in the garage sale um, just because that was like her wishes. But some of the stuff I really don't think that we can get sold just because of the, the specific things like the orientation shirts and things like that. So next we have a whole bin that she is going to be coming back for. So I'm going to double check with about this, this thing because I know she did want the bin back for moving because that's so helpful. So these, I wish these would fit me. How fun are these rain boots? The glare is rough, but these are so fun with a little buckle on the side too. I wish that I was a size nine. I wonder if I could fit them anyway. These are so fun, dude. They're from the brand, oh, they're a little big. They're from the brand Morona. It does look like she thrifted them and just like maybe never wore them because there is a tag still on them. But I think that they're so fun. And you know, we could list them, I don't know, maybe get like 10, 15 bucks for them because they're good quality rain boots. This is a fun little brand new with tags from Benefit. Um, it says brow stuff on it. So I guess just like for, you know, big makeup people, good for them. Um, and it's brand new in this packaging. Pack packaging. 
I wish I could kind of see more of the details, but I don't want to open it and then have it not be brand new tags. Um, that might be resellable for sure. Um, again, it looks like, yeah, another Indiana Wesleyan University tea. I think we'll put it in like the garage sale and see what happens. This one. Yeah, the donut run 2018. This might be fun. It's like an athletic, it's like a nice quality shirt, but like, I don't know if anyone's specifically going to be looking for that. That's what we'll go into the donut poll. Um, this is a fun graphic, but again, what is it? Outcry 20, Outcry. This was another like Christian event with the tour all on. I'm pretty sure I went to her, went with her to this one as well. Um, it is a really cool graphic though. And I wonder if anyone would be looking for something like soul sister. That's cute. Just a fun tea, some like exercise stuff that could probably sell for a few bucks. You know, we'll see. I'm really just guessing. I don't have a ton of experience with all this. But um, here's another scarf. Yeah, I can't wear that. I'm sweating. Another scarf. This one's super cute and warm. This one's from Charlotte Russe, but it's it's like super cute. And like and just another basic. So that I can maybe sell for a bit. These guys. Th what is this brand? So yoga. I don't know what that brand is or where it's sold, but those are not too, these ones are in like good condition. So that's nice. It just looks like she didn't really wear the yoga pants anymore. Um, I think I'll put them in the resale pile and if anything, just like have it in the garage sale and see how we feel. We have another pair of shoes here. These ones might fit me. These are a seven, eight. Um, they have like a little sweater top up here at the top. I don't know what brand they are. They're slightly worn, but also like not in bad condition. Like, what brand are these bad boys? Oh, they're like flannel on the inside, so you can like, you know, do that whole thing. I don't see a brand. Oh, you know what? It looks like they were also from the Rue 21, one of the Rue 21 lines. So which like, you never know. Someone might pay a few bucks for those. Um, this one, the Wilderness, Wisconsin Dells, it's kind of fun. I don't know. See, some of these things are so specific that I'm like, leave a comment if you know anything about all that, because I would not know. Nice pair of spandex by Mizuno, which I feel like, isn't that a good athletic brand? Maybe. They're like tiny. They, they're medium, but I feel like they're kids medium or something. Those are small. Maybe I can turn them into like a festival outfit. If you want to see all of my festival, music festival adventures with all the fun costumes I make, Go subscribe to my other channel, Live and Large with El Crew. I'm back. So with just my luck, my memory card filled up because I talk too much. I have too much stuff. Buy, shop my closet. Shop, shop away. Get it out my space. Get it out of there. Okay, anyway, we're going to continue. We're going to try and go a little bit faster so I don't do that again. Mermaid off duty. This is a freaking cute. It does have the padding in it. Mermaids come on like we love a good mermaid moments and it's freaking cute and it's in wonderful condition It's a good size. It's a medium and yeah, let's let's list that bad boy Um, This one teachers help change the world. I Will so this one is cute, but it's It's from a specific organization. That's the only this guy so many T-shirts <laughs> I don't even know what this is is from um oh this is cute someone will definitely buy this i feel like i'm surprised she's getting rid of this so it's a long sleeve we love a good long sleeve moment and it's just a simple graphic that says i'm a christian and i feel like those kind of things sell really well um like the graphic tee but also like i don't know how to explain it religious garb i feel like often sells well her last name is on this middle school volleyball shirt and i'm not even gonna put it up there because i don't want to whatever this guy is another cheerleading, <laughs> another cheerleading crew neck, which also I don't want to like, I don't want the world to know where we live and all that stuff. So another cheerleading hoodie. Music has no borders. That's pretty cool. What is this from? Oh my gosh. See, it sucks. It's like cute, really cute long sleeve, but it's also from like our high school, a uh, high school trip. See, okay. Here's some of the things that are not from high school anymore. That's nice. Here's a nice, a nice change. So this is from the brand Noli, Nolly. 
don't think I've ever heard of that bad boy, but it's really cute patterned cardigan. Um, these were really popular a while ago, and I feel like they're really coming back, too. I really like the colors in this, and I feel like this one could definitely sell. It's also super soft, so that is always a plus. That was the cute pile. <laughs> um, another scarf. Warm and cozy. I'll probably do, like, a scarf section in the garage sale. And this looks like a pillowcase, but I think it's a tank top. <laughs> um, comfort colors. This looks like it's like brand new. Maybe she bought it for something. It's yeah, it's like a brand new tank top. Um, simple, basic. I can probably put that in the garage sale for a, you know, we'll see. It looks like more um, t-shirts. So I'm gonna try and speed through these. No, donate, donate. This looks cool. Guessing it's from something. Wait, what is this? Okay, so I'm gonna show you the details of this. It's kind of hard to see. It's probably gonna be really washed out with this lighting. Come on, help me. So that's like a map, which is really cool. And on the back, what does it even say? Seek and save. To seek and save. This is like a specific organization. Swaziland, Indian, Nepal, Guatemala. This is a cool shirt. Someone might buy this from that Comfort Colors brand again. Where like the basics. So I'm wondering if like. I don't know, must have been from some sort of event, but this is really cool. This could definitely, someone might like that. I like that. Um, This is from Happening in the Present. A very thin, like, junior size cardigan, it looks like. Um, super soft, good condition. It's pretty much see-through, like, you could, hi. Um, but there's that, I can sell that for something. Um, denim, denim is good. So denim, this is from the brand Refuge, which is like a, a what is that, a Charlotte Russe brand. And even though that's not like an amazing, like expensive brand, I might even keep these, dude. Are these my, bro, these are my size. Even though it's not a wonderful, like high end denim brand or brand at all, I have actually had success selling at least two pairs of Refuge denim, um, on Poshmark so far and so I'm like hey if I can get a few bucks for that then heck yeah let's do it I do have another I have like a maroon pair listed right now I'm probably gonna list these and wear them until they sell do you guys do that do you do that do you wear things until they sell if you love them is that weird do you think that that's unprofessional do you hate that I like them I'm gonna keep them going in the keep pile slash like keep to sell pile you know this one here is a um absolutely creative worldwide us made i don't know this looks like a like a year 2000s type of brand do i need to like do the whole makeup beauty guru thing okay it's really cute it's another basic cardigan um it is definitely see-through so here i am again but i mean it might go for something we'll put that in the keep keep sell pile <laughs> um this says i am something i am just says I am sun sun servants I don't know I'll toss it in the garage sale see what we can get for that it was so nicely folded and I'm just here ruining it all this I'm pretty sure I know what this is without before even actually looking at it <laughs> a high school shirt that I had it went upon a time too and just so you know for, for reference I am 23 she is 22 we have been out of high school for a while um, another one with potentially the same colors um, a North Central. I'm gonna keep this one, I think, because like I said, the college tees were doing pretty. The basic college tees were doing pretty oddly well selling. So we'll see if I continue to have that luck. Because I don't like donating so much stuff. What my family also does is for like reduce, reuse, recycle to also reduce our paper waste. We um, often cut old T-shirts and like bleach or stained things that we can no longer really wear or we aren't wearing and aren't of high value and we cut them into rags so that we can wash things down. So like you can use it with furniture polish, you can use them for glass, um, like cleaning, so I'm pointing to my mirror over here. You can use them for cleaning glass. You can really use those cotton swabs essentially for household cleaning. And then so you're not using a million paper towels, you're decreasing your waste in that way. And then you can also wash and reuse the strips of, or the squares of cotton, old t-shirts that you use. So pro tip. 
um, high school thing, New York Ducks, or York, not New York Ducks, York Dukes. Old high school shirt, um, old high school shirt, um, old high school shirt. Um, looks like an old high school shirt. Man. Old musical shirt from high school. <laughs> middle school hairspray the broadway musical i'm pretty sure this was from i feel like i might be able to sell this from an old musical but we might be able to sell that this is a simple athletic tee from a specific college that might also have like a few dollar resale value so i am gonna put this here because like i said a lot of people like to rework the clothing from their university and things like that rainforest cafe that's actually pretty cool. I feel like someone might like that. This is a Rainforest Cafe, little palm tree design, long sleeve, really beautiful summer spring colors. Another pair of leggings that I also might keep for myself because all of my leggings have holes in them. From Love Charm, the brand, I have no idea. Might try these on and keep them for my sale. The very last item we have in this specific bin. I just looked down at it and I was like, wow. It's another um, high school. Um, Thing. but it's all okay so this was the haul of my free inventory essentially like I said she will be getting consignment for anything that does sell whether it be at the garage sale for a lower price or um, online with any of the platforms that I do sell on um, but for free inventory I think this is pretty good I have quite a big stack here just if you want to see quite a big stack here of things that I do plan on attempting to resell at least um, it is going to take quite some time to be doing all those things, but I am mostly just excited to be sharing this with you all and sharing this with the reseller community. Um, any tips and tricks that you have at all about reselling or anything at this point, um, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. I would be so, so happy to have you subscribe here. I'm going to be shooting this video all over my Instagram, um, and I'm, I'm excited to see what this new channel and this new journey brings me. Thank you everyone for tuning in and don't let yourself be put in a box.